Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Lasusa chocolate. This is a chocolate selection. This was made in Italy, and we found this at Home Goods. This brand is very popular this year at Home Goods. They have a lot of lots of different boxes, lots of different collections to choose from, and I just thought this looked like the best collection. This was $9.99. Which is it? Horrible for now, we're gonna lots of chocolates. See, let's see what all we get. Lots of chocolates. I'm sure if you all have a home goods in your bad. area, uh, you're wondering what you get inside here. Very colorful. Very, very colorful. Yeah, make noise. Okay, and then let's see if they if they have writing on. Them. Ooh, smells good. Yes, they do have writing on. Them. It smells really good, doesn't it? Yes, it smells wonderful. So, like the green ones are hazelnut. Okay, what were you, the blue ones are coconut. Oh no, I'm sorry, cocoa. The blue ones are cocoa. We'll what are those? Are I don't uh, know. You're asking a person that can't see on Yeah, but oh okay, okay. So I'll <laughs> tell you. So these are coffee. This one, there's only one of these. It is a cream caramel. There's only one of those. Okay. This one is a tiramisu. There's two of those. And then we have a cassata and a panna cotta. And this one is, it's called Wishes. So I don't know. It says, yeah, this one says Wishes as well. So I don't it's know. It's a different color. Yeah, it's a different color. So we'll have to look, we'll have to, we'll take a closer look at that. And then this is the cocoa. So uh, what do you want to try? Why don't we try the uh, one that said Casada. Open that up. And I pulled up the word Casada on my phone. Casada is a traditional sweet from all areas of Sicily, Italy, born in Palermo. Casada consists of round sponge cake moistened with fruit juices or liqueur and layered with ricotta cheese and candied fruits, which is also the cannelli's filling. It is covered with a shell, a marzipan, pink and green pastel coloring, icing, and decorative design. So, uh, we'll just have to, uh, we'll see what is in this. Okay. Mm. That's a fruit? Mm-hmm. But I cannot identify what fruit it is. It's really good. It is. <laughs> it's not not anything that we're familiar with. It's, oh, I've tasted that flavor before. But it's in something else that was foreign. I'm almost Oh, positive. it probably was. Yeah. Almost like a, a rose water. Um, it does have. Like a Turkish delight. It kind of reminds me of that kind of flavor. As much as we hate Turkish delight. It's it, so strong. It does have a hint of that yeah. rose in it. Yeah. I agree. Or a flavor very similar to that, at least. This, I, I like that. Those are really good. But it is, it's light enough to where it doesn't assault you right. when you're eating it. Assault your senses. Um, I would say primarily that's what I'm getting from that, though. It's yeah. a fruit that has that rose flavoring. Let's try panna. the panna cotta next. And I have panna cotta pulled up on my phone, too. Sorry, I'm making noise while she's That's talking. okay. Right. You're good. Panna cotta is an Italian dessert of sweetened cream thickened with gelatin and molded. The cream may be aromatized with rum, coffee, vanilla, or other flavorings. So, mm -hmm. now to me, that still feels like cream. Mm hmm. I believe it has a little bit of a raspberry flavor. I know it said it's thickened with um, gelatin, which that kind of scared me, but I don't get that. It doesn't have a gelatin I, feel. No. Because we're thinking, we always think Turkish Delight or right. something like that more than gelatin. Right. And, and it, it wasn't it's like not like that at all. It still is very, very creamy. Mm. Uh, the it chocolate is nice chocolate. It reminds me of the first one we tried a little bit, except it's more... Did you get raspberry? Uh, some kind more, of, yeah, that was the like first one was rose water, and the, the next one is raspberry. Yeah, yeah. which or, we were saying rose water is probably something completely different. No, that's what it I, really, I really think it was. So we've tried these we've two. Tried those. 
Okay, let's try the tiramisu. So this will be a, a coffee, I know. And then there's coffee coffee. Or a cocoa coffee. These are very uh, pretty candies, pretty like chocolates. They do. Most of these do. Mmm. I like that. Doesn't have a coffee flavor though. Mm mm. It's just like a really sweet cream. Mm. It There's has a hint after. It has a, a little bit after, but it's not the typical tiramisu that mm. I'm used to here, which is American. Um, I think the American version has a stronger coffee flavor, and this is more of a. It's it's. It's coffee, I guess, but it's very, very, very light on the coffee. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's good though. I like it, that. It's a nice. It's it's a coffee that's been has a lot of creamer in it. A creamer yeah. coffee. Yeah. What is this one? Hey, right, this one's the cream caramel. Ooh, and we only got one of these. Yeah. It looks just like the second one we tried. I love the texture of the inside. Mm -hmm. Very, very creamy. And I like the thickness of the chocolate on the outside. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of caramel, not really though. To me, that's not. No, that's not really a caramel. No, I taste mainly the. I think it's the chocolate. The, just the chocolate. Like. You just get you get the flavor of the chocolate, which is a good flavor. But if you're expecting caramel, then you're disappointed because mm -hmm. that's that's not caramely at mm -hmm. all. The first one, well, first. Tasted it. I was thinking caramel, but it was the chocolate is what I tasted. And it's caramel. good chocolate. It's it's uh, more it's on the uh, side, a dark side. It is a little a little dark. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. Okay, let's do. But it's not bitter. It's just got a bite. To you it. know, these this says wishes too. I know. And it's I think great. all these are wishes. See that one's wishes, decent. wishes, and wishes. well, let's do those last. Um, so you got two different kinds. Well, let's make this all these green ones because these were all said. Well, but I thought I saw a name on. I thought I saw hazelnut on some of those green ones. I don't know. You know what? I mixed in the wishes one with the hazelnut. Yeah, wishes has gold. Okay, there were two wishes. Okay, so let's let's try the hazelnut one then. These are balls. Yes, these are like uh, the lint. Uh, truffle balls. We'll see if they have the, the same consistency. Try to find a seam. Love the texture again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It took a minute, but I finally got the hazelnut. I got the hazelnut, but yeah, Kevin's right. It takes a minute. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's not very strong. It's good. It's not as good as other hazelnut that I've had. I'm no. gonna be honest. It's we, not as it's not as nutty. We've had some really. We very recently tried. Um, I'll just go and say it. The Guylan brand. Oh yeah. And was that awesome. hazelnut was absolutely phenomenal. It was like you were eating hazelnut. I like it a lot better. Okay, this. That's different than this. Yeah, this looks. Yeah, this is different. That I wish was too. This is cafe. No, sorry, I read that wrong. This is called a soft heart. I don't know what this is gonna be. There's a lot of different chocolates here. You weren't expecting. I wasn't many, expecting this rich. many. No. <laughs> cafe heart. No, I keep saying soft. cafe. It's not cafe. It's soft heart. Now that tastes like home. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you get a little caramel from mm -hmm. there? Is that it tasted more caramel more than the caramel. More like caramel than the caramel. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But there's a little bit of a coffee, uh, um, like a mocha flavor like in there too. Yeah, that, I like that one. That, that one was very good. Yeah, and we only got one yeah, of those. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one. Um, someone told me though that a lot of these brands put like a heart in there, and that's just it's one piece that's different from all the rest. Mm. I'm not used to that, but apparently that's a common thing. This is amaretto. 
I'll be sick after eating all these. I had no <laughs> idea that all these flavors, there are a lot of different, a yeah. lot of flavors. So, so far, this would be a good pack to get for yes, a gift. Yes, this would make an excellent gift for somebody. So, not a whole lot of money. Mm -mm. I like it that they're individually wrapped, too. Mm hmm. That's good. It could be amaretto. I don't know really what amaretto tastes like, but that could be it. I have no clue. It's not very strong once again. No, it's a, it's a, it honestly tastes more like just a really good chocolate truffle. Yes. Is what it tastes like. Just a And also, to be perfectly honest with you, almost all of these taste like just a really good truffle. Right. Um, I, I got a little hazily, hazel nutty aftertaste for it. And something nutty. This is cocoa. I'm going to save my thoughts to the end because I will give you thoughts. You have thoughts. I have thoughts. <laughs> this is the cocoa. What you said? You're open. I don't know. Mm. That one has more of a coffee flavor. Well, it has cocoa nibs flavor, like those little chocolate crunchy Yes, it tastes like cocoa nibs. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It's good. It's a little bitter, but it's not as strong as I would have liked for it to be. It's but pretty strong it's to me. Okay, now this one. Well, let's see. I now see. I didn't. It wasn't that strong to me, but I thought it was really good. Now this one is actually coffee. Oh. Coffee. So let's see what the coffee is going to be. So do you think those are all different or? Ah, oh, we're gonna have to find out. Are they have different colors? Or are they all the same? Mmm. No, that's coffee. Mm-hmm. It's good though, it's a nice um That probably has It's a nice coffee with a creamer kind of flavor to it. That has, in my opinion, that has more flavor in it than any coffee? of the other ones. I mean in the Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, a golf ball. Yeah, this one literally is, um, it looks, I have to show you because it's so neat. It's a chocolate golf ball. There you go. Yeah, you have to cover the whole screen up with that. <laughs> there will be a little cutaway right before that because I have to focus. It took me a while to focus on it. So we're going to be seeing if these are all the same. We don't have a clue that they just, they all say wishes. And they're bigger. It's some crunchy in them, like cereal. Like Rice Krispies. Mm-hmm. But I think it was just chocolate. No? I don't know. No. It's like a... That's hazelnut. Hazelnut. Yeah. Hazelnut. Now that's good hazelnut. That hazelnut in there was much better than what they were calling hazelnut. It, I mean, it looks the same. If we try another one, it's If the same. this one is the same as the last one, then we probably won't open this one because I'm assuming it's going to be the exact, I, the exact same thing. Oh wow, look at all the cookie pieces in that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. I think it's different. Well, no, I got hazelnut. I think it's the same. It's the same. So wishes are all the same even though they got I think color. that yeah, I think that is the same. We're gonna go on the assumption that that's the same. Yeah. Yeah, that one, we don't have to open another one. And, uh, I mean, it may be different. We'll, we'll find out when we open it and actually eat it. But um, How much is it? It's $10. It's $9.99. All right, here's my take on it. Okay. If you have somebody that just really likes chocolate truffles, mm -hmm. I think this would be a good pack because I like it that they're individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. If you go buy Whit Whitman's, Whitman's, Whitman's or uh, uh, the Russell Stover's or something, mm -hmm. you get chocolates in there, but they're all individual. I mean, they're all... To, 
they're all open and you it's have a to selection keep the box, box and, that you open the lid yeah. and it's all open and these you can actually packed. take and put in a candy dish or something so i like these i think they're i think they're really good for ten dollars i don't think that's bad for a gift or something if you if you like that chocolate truffle thing i agree i think they're very pretty uh do i think this is the best chocolate oh, no. that we've ever had i don't know no, it's no not. i don't either um but i still think it'd be a good gift i think it would be a good gift it's not the best we've had because so many of them said they were one thing and the, the flavor wasn't strong right. enough at least to our american taste buds True. you know if you're in another country uh, you might be used to a very very muted tiramisu or a very muted hazelnut but we've had other hazelnuts from like Germany, like I said, or the Geilenbram um, from uh, Belgium, and it is just so strong. Well, and that's even their what own. We're going off of. Even their own hazelnut. Yeah. Even their own later on was strong. Yeah, even than the, the wishes trumped the one that said hazelnut. hazelnut. So I do think it's a good gift. I agree with Kevin. I think you get a lot for ten dollars. I, mean, I think you would make somebody very happy that's, if, you, if you bought this. That's what's left to eat, and we yeah, ate all these. Yeah, we <laughs> ate all. Yeah, exactly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to take a picture of this with the the papers, and because I'm not going to unwrap them, I don't want to waste them. Uh, so they were literally chocolate shells with like a creamy center. Yeah, that they like would remind you of the Lent yeah. Lindor truffles. Yeah. And so I'm just going to take a picture of what we have left here that we haven't opened. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you all had this before, comment below. Let us know what you think of it. And thanks for watching.